consciousness is not just in the head, it's embodied and embedded in the world. Okay. And then we move into cognitive science. So cognitive science says, let's treat consciousness as an emerging product of brain processes, more like a user interface than kind of a ghost in the machine that we can't quite explain, but we accept. And then David Chalmers coined the hard problem phrase, how and why does subjective experience arise from physical matter? Okay, cool. So that that's like, and there's lots of in between and there's lots of depths for all those things. And we'll link uh, in the show notes. There's a really great Stanford encyclopedia of knowledge around the history of consciousness. I read up on that on my flight back from Don't Die Miami. Um, so I'll link that in the show notes. So that brings us to now. We're on, on the verge of giving birth to super intelligence. And so uh, some of the brightest minds in technology are thinking about, uh, in particular, Suzanne Gilder. Uh, she has this company, is it Nirvanica, was it? Who is trying to instill consciousness into humanoid robots via quantum computing. And her whole thesis is, I don't think we could solve this in traditional models. I think we got to look at this with quantum computing. Reaction, 